This video is about Dead by Daylight's beloved Matthew Santoro and vaguely about the toxicity in the community. Let's discuss him and his community. I'm going to preface this by saying by the time this video is uploaded, people will have already moved on from the situation. However, the lessons discussed in this video is something to live by. Before you hop onto the this is unfair cancel culture, let me just say there is a distinct difference between hopping on a bandwagon and relentlessly insulting people for the dramatics of it and holding people accountable. I'll spoil this one for you. In this video, we're holding Matthew and his community accountable for their actions. These are some of the things that went down on Twitter regarding the drama in the last few days. Now, previously Spooken Dukes has covered Matthew Santoro and actually ended up deleting the video he made about him as Spooken Dukes was convinced he had learned from his mistakes and changed for the better. Ah, uh, boy was he wrong. I cannot speak on the experience of people of color because I'm not one. However, their fight is never over for them and it's exhausting to witness. There will always be someone who is over their shoulder ridiculing them because of the color of their skin. It's an uncomfortable conversation and a hard, girthy pill to swallow. But okay, Matthew, live your best life, King, and continue to allow bigots in your community and harass my friends. She's like, what's your favorite thing about streaming? I said, you know what my favorite thing about streaming is? My community. I said, they are just such good people. Like, genuinely. Like, I, that's the number one thing I'm proud of. Is that we've created such a nice community of just genuinely nice people. None of you go out of your way to hurt anybody. You all have good hearts. And I'm so proud of that because, you know, a recent situation that I saw it's very clear to me that other communities, like, are very much not like ours. Dude, I'm, I'm 37. I, I'm, I'm not really into this high school drama stuff. Um, and like I said, I know who I am. And I, I'm really not concerned about any sort of uh, narratives that are made about me or anything like that. So... Bro, this situation is not at all cancel culture. As a person with a platform and a fair influence, it's their job to hold you accountable if you're in the wrong. It's far from high school drama. Matthew Santora posted this and then he kind of just quit Twitter. It reads, for my own mental health and to continue on my journey of focusing and peace and happiness, I've decided to leave Twitter. Before I go, I'd like to leave you all with this. Please remember to be kind to one another. We live in a world of intense judgment cancel culture and anger and nowhere is that embodied more on twitter before you engage with someone especially if you disagree with them remember there is a real human being on the other side of your screen with their own struggles emotions and unique life challenges you can empower someone with your words or you can tear them down you can engage in discussion with an open mind for greater understanding or you can engage in conflict and division Ultimately, the choice is yours. My hope is that you choose love and understanding. Our world needs love, kindness, and compassion now more than ever. Remember to be the change you want to see. We are all equal. We are all one. Remember the golden rule. Oh, how I wish that were true. Nobody's equal. His tweets are now gone after posting this final message. He is now off Twitter for the time being. And now, if that statement were true, do you think there would be any discrimination in the world? It's a bit unfair to assume that a content creator has control over each and every one of their viewers. They don't. But if you allow them to openly insult other streamers, let alone other people, still have them in your community without repercussions, that screams volumes about your character, Matthew. And now nobody in the Dead by Daylight community wants to touch you with a 10-foot pole. None of you Go out of your way to hurt anybody. You all have good hearts. Nice. Would you like a cookie for doing the bare minimum? For not absolutely participating in the tomfoolery you call cancel culture? And then you have people like this who magnetize themselves to those sort of situation. I wouldn't be surprised if this was an average Matthew Santoro viewer. Unless people like this are held accountable and used as an example of how not to be, 
more and more people will think this behavior is acceptable. Bigotry and ignorance is just an uncomfortable and girthy pill to swallow. In this screenshot, Lily Pai reached out to Matthew, trying to shut down the harassment she's been experiencing in lieu of the hate train. Here, he says, Have you considered doing the same? It, which could easily translate to, I'm not doing that because it's not my problem. Sucks to suck, right? It's okay to live in your little bubble, King, and think everything is perfect. Just expect to receive some flack for your ignorance. Telling Lily to reach out to the troll and try to appease them is some kind of joke, because here the troll obviously doesn't respect her. But you know who they do respect? Matthew Santoro. Somebody said that Spook and Jokes video about Matthew Santoro aged like milk. I thought that was funny. This was something said in Matthew Santoro's chat, and it's a common opinion that ignorant individuals hold. It's thinking people can't take a joke. The joke in question? Gosh, people are so soft. I can't believe this. Dumping back to the video that Spoken Jukes made about Matthew about one year ago, the comments are all commending his redemption arc and that his change was somewhat inspirational. I don't think Matthew Santoro himself did anything wrong here. He's just choosing to allow hateful and ignorant people in his community, allowing them a space where they can discuss this sort of ideology, which can also be extremely harmful to some individuals. And there is always room for improvement. Heck, I sure hope some of you comment on this video telling me all the things I did wrong. Whether you hate my opinion or think my editing sucks, please indulge me. In conclusion, I want to know that I'm tired of seeing all of the terrible things that go on and do absolutely nothing about it because it's completely deteriorating if I don't do anything about these. So moving forward, I'll probably be making content like this, which includes making an example out of clowns in the community, mostly holding people accountable. Thanks for watching.